If you wish to see the face of human greed, you have to look no further than the Gaijin.net store. Just think about it, these are free dimensional models sold at the same price point as a full video game. And you know what's fucked up? There are literally hundreds if not thousands of people who are willing to pay this price. The boys at Gaijin Entertainment must feel they're fucking geniuses. They've managed to create a community that is more focused on how much armor or armor penetration a smokestack on track should get versus whether or not they should actually be paying $50 for it. This game must be some kind of KGB Soviet mind control experiment released upon the masses when morals became monetizable in Russia. Like the armor of the modern tanks you'll never get to see, this game is a composite of the highs of achievement and kill and have the enemy team and the lows of being over tiered and screwed over. If you're doing too well in this game, you can be sure that bad news is coming. Either you will be up tiered fighting stabilized tanks in your rust bucket, or you will be finding that your team is just a bunch of bonobo monkeys. This game knows that the secret sauce to get you coming back for more is to ensure that success is fleeting and you can never truly grasp it. The actual game is pretty fun, it's basically Counter-Strike with tanks. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. As someone who has been on the internet for 20 years, I did not expect controversy when I released this video. But, in fact, when I posted this on the War Thunder forums, I got a very strange response from the admins. They claimed that this video was hate speech and that it promotes negative stereotypes against Eastern European people? Well, I guess I'm a racist against myself now. They also expressed the very strange concern that my review could get people to stop spending money on their game. Now, if I was so charismatic that I could get people to not spend money on a game or you know in reverse spend money on a game I think I would be working in marketing not making YouTube videos and Gaijin get this if I was that good you should hire me to shill for you then it's win-win and we both get money but okay sarcasm aside I try to be reasonable I try to meet them eye to eye I try to make a video that would take their criticism into account and this this is what I came up with if you want to see some serious value for your money you have to look no further than the gaijin.net store these tanks they might cost as much as divinity original sin 2 or hitman 2 but those games those games have two in the name and you need only one game war funder when Rousseau said money cannot buy happiness he clearly had not played War Thunder. The fool. Look at all these people spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on the game. They can't possibly be wrong. And if that's not enough to convince you, look at this great community of people Gaijin has fostered. These are clearly well-adjusted individuals with successful careers when they aren't making when they aren't making 20 posts posts a, a day. Here, this is what you're supposed to be reading. Uh, um, oh, okay, you just threw that in my face, um, okay, um, look at this tank, the Long Johnson, buy it for 69 69 today, and you will get early access to the Portuguese faction. Here's a video of man dancing to lighten the mood, um, he's totally not from Eastern Europe though, and, uh, this video has nothing to do with that stuff, he's... He's, he's Sentinelese, alright? He's from the Sentinel Islands. What's with all these old people that keep popping up? Look at this footage of me having fun with a $50 tank. You like fun, right? Spending money is fun. I don't get my teeth knocked out. That's fun for everyone, right? Alright, let's summarize. The game is basically Counter-Strike of Tanks, and it's a load of fun. Um, it's a 10 out of 10, because, because uh, that's what I was told to say? No! Read the script! Oh crap, this is like 20 pages. Oh. Man, I don't think I can do this though, with that man threatening me. Um, okay. <clears throat> the variety of vehicles is astounding, and they only keep adding more factions every year. Heck, now there's a navy in the game if you swing that way. And, 
and, and so many cool tanks at tier 5, which you will never spade because it costs like a million research points. That's the last straw. Get over here. No, 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 no. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, I'll fix it. Surprise! I'm fine. In all seriousness though, this took me a little bit longer than I thought because I don't do this kind of thing professionally. So if you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you showed me your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel so that I know that you would like to see more of this.